I had this insight recently, and once I share it with you, it's going to totally change how you approach your writing. So we run these scene writing workshops at StoryGrid where people come in, we bring in a group of 30 people, and we give them one-on-one -on -one feedback on their writing over the course of six weeks. So each week they turn in a scene, we review them, and we give them feedback on what they did right, what they did wrong, and what they need to work on in the coming week. And a couple workshops ago, I brought in this guy named Will Tranowski to help me do some of the scene review. Now, Will is a pro at this. He's a story grid certified writer. He's in our writer mentorship program. I know he understands how to review scenes and give feedback, but we kept running into this problem where it was taking him forever to give feedback on each of the scenes. When I give feedback on a scene, it takes about 20 minutes. But for Will, these things were taking like an hour and the videos that he was turning over to the students was more like around a half hour or more. And this was a problem, not just because it was crushing Will's life because it was taking so long and taking all of his time, but we've also realized over the years of doing this at StoryGrid that more is not better. In fact, more is worse. We've seen this in the teaching where if we just teach more and more and more concepts, people feel like they're getting better, but when they actually go to write, they're not getting better. So we've cut way back on the teaching and just want people actually practicing their writing. And the second thing we've noticed is that if we overload people with every single possible thing that went wrong in their writing, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. They feel overwhelmed. They don't know what to focus on and what they need to fix first. And often what we find is if you fix the big problems in your writing, a lot of the little problems automatically clean themselves up. So the fact that Will was taking so long not just to identify the problems, but was sending these really long videos and heavily annotated scenes, I realized like that's not good for our students either. So we've got to figure out what's going on. So we started working on this and we, you know, we had long conversations. I looked at some of his reviews and I would give him feedback and I kept iterating this point of shorter is better, shorter is better. Just pay attention to the two or three big problems, get them to make progress on that. And that's the thing that actually matters. And yet Will kept spending all of this time on these scenes until we had the breakthrough. Before I keep going on and dive more into this, I want you to just hear it from Will. So I pulled a couple excerpts from our Zoom call so you can actually hear him describe to me what he's figured out. Uh, I think I finally figured out what the hell you want me to do in this workshop and you want the, like what the hell this, you want the feedback people to do. But what you're looking for, like you don't even want, what you want is for us to coach the writers to make the writers better using the scenes as a tool. As opposed to like what I went into it, I'm like, well, let's make this scene better. This was the main insight that I think I figured that out like maybe this past Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> like I've been doing yeah. this for 12 weeks or whatever. And I'm like, oh shit, this is what Tim wants. And that was the part of the thing that got me to change the way that I was giving feedback. That finally got me down to the half hour, 40 minute thing. Because it influences not just like the feedback we give on that scene, like it influences what homework you give. It influences whether you, you know, like how, how strict you are about making sure they get this scene right. You also need to, to think about like, what has the writer submitted thus far? Is there a pattern? Like, and what am I seeing? How can I challenge this writer? Like it affects everything. The thing I appreciate about the way you do it is you're like, Hey, this, this is a problem. Like you got to fix this. And that's it. So what Will was struggling with is whether or not he was there to serve the writer or the writing. And while this may seem like it's the same thing, it's actually a really important distinction. So if Will's in editor mode, he is there to improve the writing. And this is why he kept getting stuck, getting more and more and more feedback and trying to help the writer get to the point where they would actually write a great working scene. But if he switches over to coach mode, now he's focused on the writer and we want to level up the skills of the writer. And that's a different goal, especially in terms of a workshop. So now we're giving feedback not to just try to make one specific piece of writing working. We're trying to help the writer improve their skills through this practice. So all of the scene writing is just cannon fodder 
to make them better at this craft of writing. And so once Will focused on that, then he was able to pinpoint, oh, this is where this particular writer is struggling and here's how I can help them level up in that area. Okay, so this is the big insight I had after talking to Will, is that when we're writing, when you and I are working on our writing, there's two different modes that we can be in and we need to be in one of the two modes. So mode one is I'm trying to write something that I can publish. So I'm actually sitting down to write and I'm hoping that what I produce is something that I can publish and put out in the world. Mode two is I'm trying to improve my skills and ability in writing. And so this is just practice. It doesn't matter if I get it right. I'm just practicing on it to raise my skill level and craft level. So later when I sit down to write that thing I want to publish, I can do it better than I could have ever done it otherwise. And too often writers are doing both of these at the same time. So we're trying to work on our manuscript that we hope will turn into a book that we can publish and put out into the world. And at the same time, we're trying to level up our skills and get better at writing, but while we're trying to create our work of art, and those two things just don't go together very well. And this is what we do at StoryGrid is we separate those out. So that's the first big insight is that creating a work of art is different than practicing skills and getting better at the craft of writing. The second thing is thinking about the ratio of when you're doing one over the other. So think about in the sports world, you have somebody that's great at golf or tennis or basketball. How much time do they spend practicing versus actually competing in a game or a match that matters? What's well, what, 50 times the amount of time practicing versus actually doing the thing that matters. And yet in the writing world, we kind of just do it all at the same time. It's almost like we wait until it's game time and then we start practicing. So here's the two big takeaways I think will change the way that you write. The first one is when you sit down to write, pick a mode that you're going to be in. Are you trying to write something that you're going to publish that is going to be a work of art? Or are you practicing and skill developing and this is just practice and the end result doesn't matter, you're just trying to get better? Pick one of those modes and focus on that mode. The second takeaway is Think about the ratio of time you're spending practicing versus actually trying to create the work of art. And you should be spending a lot more time practicing and skill developing instead of just constantly trying to create something that you don't quite have the skills to create yet. Now, at this point, you might be wondering, well, what does this actually look like? What do you mean practice? How does this look to practice a skill? Well, I have a video for you. So the next video you should watch is where you actually follow along as I write a scene and get feedback from my editor so you can see what it means to just practice a scene so I can get better at the actual skill of writing. So that should be on your screen right now. So click on that. You're going to want to watch that next. If you're wondering who I am or you want to find out more about what we do at StoryGrid, there's links and information to that down in the description of this video. But thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being a writer and I'll see you next time.